week from 18 to December 24, 2023. General Tendencies Everyday Life Profession. The Sagittarius Sun is in tension with Neptune at the beginning of the week. How confident are you that everything will turn out well when certainties fade? That is when you need trust. Mercury, Capricorn, Retrograde, and Jupiter, Taurus. Retrograde indicate a preoccupation with security but also with the laws of nature and the forces of nature. People can appear small and helpless when the Earth shows its powers. The Moon is conjunct Saturn in Pisces at the beginning of the week which indicates human suffering. Mercury and Jupiter indicate efforts to put situations right. Mercury will arrive in Sagittarius on December 23rd on its retrograde path and then tie in with last week's new moon, which fueled hopes that seemed quite unrealistic given the circumstances. Cultivate good faith. Faith in the good. It should be a matter of course to do something about it within the bounds of what is feasible and not just wait and see. Friday is the winter solstice, which... For astrologers, is the actual turn of the year. The favorable connection of Sun Mercury in Capricorn to Moon Jupiter in Taurus and Saturn in Pisces paints a picture of common sense. Relationship love. Venus advances into opposition to Uranus and connects to Mars. Uranus emphasizes the voluntary nature of all our decisions. Sagittarius Mars has to deal with the conditions. He can't go through with his conquests at the expense of other people. However, he must not lose his courage because his courage makes him attractive. The moon is in Aries during the exact opposition and supports the thirst for action. Aries everyday life profession. Mars in Sagittarius pursues ambitious goals, masculine approach, but has to coordinate his advances with Venus and Uranus, who have a very different mentality. Namely feminine you need to conserve resources and show consideration for the environment. Mars occupies the perfect sign for this because Sagittarius wants to take an exemplary approach to everything. On Wednesday and Thursday, the moon will be in Aries, so you'll probably be scrabbling around because, once again, things aren't moving fast enough for you, but you know that rushing things can have disadvantages. On Friday, at the winter solstice, the constellations in the Earth element will gather and describe a good sense of proportion. Nothing will be exaggerated or rushed anymore but you will take a very sensible and prudent approach. You feel a sense of responsibility, which can weigh almost too heavily on you. On the other hand, your position of responsibility also gives you quite a lot of creative freedom, which you are happy to use sensibly and profitably. Hopefully, no one will feel patronized or ignored by you. Relationship love. The opposition of Venus and Jupiter has given you courage. The Venus-Uranus opposition goes one better and calls for unusual actions. It's time to step outside the box and try something new. You can also set a new framework, which must be larger than the previous one. The emphasized element of Earth and Venus in Scorpio promote powerful sexual experiences. Taurus everyday life profession. Venus is now opposite Uranus and attracted by its revolutionary ideas. What ideas might these be? In what way are you revolutionary? Uranus in Taurus and infect others with your attitude? Mercury retrograde connects with Jupiter in Taurus. Here, too, you can assume that the ideas come from your corner and spread to other corners of the world. That is especially true on Friday, at the winter solstice, winter in the northern hemisphere when the moon joins Jupiter in Taurus. Things that have been on your mind for a long time are becoming more and more concrete. You are a generator of ideas and a creator. Your vision and resilience are remarkable. From Friday in particular, you feel fully in your element and enjoy the attention you receive. Mercury moves from Capricorn into Sagittarius on Saturday, and the moon moves from Taurus into Gemini on Sunday. That brings a bit of cheerfulness into play, which you can use in the upcoming festive days. Relationship love. Venus in Scorpio casts a spell over you but also shows how you can cast a spell over others. You have intense encounters and experience everything in an alert, conscious state. No one can fool you. You have a clear view. Perhaps they can seduce and temporarily divert you from your goals. But this also happens in total awareness. You allow it as long as it is good for you. Gemini everyday life profession. Mercury's connection to Jupiter describes cautious optimism. You want to think positively, but you see the reality and the difficulties. That can also affect your financial situation. With Venus as an indicator of finances, you can expect a surprise. Uranus in opposition to Venus, which may be favorable. Uranus in Taurus can reveal unexpected resources. If it's not about money, it's about other values. How do you determine the value of a person? This question also seems to be significant now. The winter solstice is on Friday, 
with remarkable connections between the Sun, Moon, Mercury, and Jupiter. Things are going well between people and within the family. It looks like mutual appreciation, and there's also a sense of usefulness at play. You need each other, and you support each other. Astrological thinking allows you to view this positive picture as an indication, forecast, for the coming year. Therefore, cautious optimism continues for a while longer. At the weekend, Mercury, Saturday, and the Moon, Sunday, move from the element of Earth to fire and air, that promotes cheerful sociability, relationship love. What does your counterpart do? You try to understand, you analyze everything very carefully, and you like to keep a low profile. You enjoy it in silence. Your partner has to make a little effort and hardly receives any compliments from you, even if you think their behavior is good. It amounts to a positive surprise when you finally open your mouth. However, even then, you won't be exuberant but solely say what's on your mind. Cancer Everyday Life Profession The opportunities for interpersonal connections go a little deeper now. That pleases Venus in Scorpio, opposite Uranus, which indicates unexpected recognition this week. A compliment must be genuine and relate to reality. Any embellishment would be exposed immediately. The sun moves into Capricorn on Friday, meeting Mercury retrograde and connecting with the moon and Jupiter in Taurus. They meet in the element of Earth, in the realm of facts, and you realize that the Earth is beautiful and that you need it as the basis of your existence. Venus in Scorpio loves growth and decay, the rhythms of nature, and when the time comes, you must let something, or someone, go. Cancer-born people may now also have more to do with the old, who don't have much time left and whose beauty has faded. If so, you need to do what it takes to support these people and make their twilight years as pleasant as possible. You have a lot of patience this week, and everything will feel lighter on Sunday. Christmas Eve for Christians. Relationship love. Now that Venus in Scorpio opposes Uranus, you can expect surprises. Your partner may need more freedom, but they may also need more commitment. You need to listen and empathize well. On the other hand, you also have contradictory needs yourself and should clarify these first and foremost. Perhaps your partner reflects your own unconscious desires. It's worth taking a close look and listening carefully. Leo Everyday Life Profession If you have run out of steam at the weekend, the Aries Moon, Wednesday, Thursday, will give you new energy and help you to achieve your ambitious goals. In addition to this dynamic side, element of fire, there is a strong emphasis on earth and water. Here, people need the right conditions. The sun moves into Capricorn on Friday, solstice, with Mercury, Jupiter, and the moon connecting. That gives the element of earth even more weight so that you can no longer do anything without the community you are part of. Of course, this also has a pleasant side. You feel a sense of security and safety. It feels good that people are there for each other and take responsibility. After all, you do it yourself. However, if you want to be the center of attention, you may be too loud or harsh. On Sunday, people will be able to laugh it away. Relationship love, the Sun-Neptune connection and the Moon in Pisces have slowed down your energy. Were you too optimistic, or did you go too far? Examine this more closely now. What exactly did you do? What did you say? And how did your partner receive your behavior? There is a need for clarification. You can put everything right before the holidays. Virgo Everyday Life Profession Mercury Retrograde is an invitation to take a much closer look at everything. Its connection to Jupiter emphasizes the search for meaning mentioned last week. However, there will be a strong emphasis on the element of Earth on Friday. Then, only that which can be proven, recounted, recalculated, or scientifically substantiated makes sense. Nevertheless, faith, Jupiter can still play a role because you tend to get exactly the result you want or believe in. Even in scientific studies, humans remain humans, even if they call themselves scientists. Another fascinating aspect this week is Venus, which is opposite Uranus and inspired by it to make astonishing or crazy assessments. Is it possible to see everything completely differently? Mercury retrograde says yes, so you can look forward to the insights you come to this week, especially from Friday onwards. The mood will be more positive afterward, and people will be more relaxed. Relationship love. Neptune and Saturn in Pisces oppose the sign of Virgo. Neptune has been describing an opaque relationship situation for quite a long time, for 11 years, and Saturn has been indicating defensive attitudes since this year. Who is defending whom, and why? This topic, if you are experiencing it, should be discussed now. On Friday, the constellations would be very conducive to this. 
then you won't be so hot-headed and can stay calm. Libra everyday life profession, the cockiness of the sign of Sagittarius, Sun and Mars, can make a big impression, but it's less and less desirable now. On Wednesday and Thursday, the Aries moon may once again stand for dynamic encounters that will amaze you. On Friday, the Sun moves into Capricorn with Mercury, Earth element, and the Moon is then in Taurus with Jupiter, Earth. The strong emphasis on Earth pulls you down if you have been floating in the air. You need to keep the concrete situation in mind. On closer inspection, many things are no longer so impressive, but with some things, or people, you only now recognize their value. Venus is in Scorpio, where she keeps her cards close to her chest. However, the opposition of Uranus is challenging her to reveal a little more of herself. True treasures can come to light. The positive experiences come at the right moment to create a pleasant mood at the weekend. Relationship love. Venus in Scorpio indicates a tendency to claim someone for yourself. If this happens to you, Uranus will counteract it. Emphasizing your independence it's best to commit to your partner anew every day. And when you've had enough of each other, you can take some time out. If both partners have space for exciting experiences, there is always something interesting to report. You require a strong basis of trust for this. Scorpio Everyday Life Profession This week begins with the Moon in Pisces, where Saturn and Neptune are. That indicates a strong sensitivity to anything invisible or inexplicable. The emphasized element of Earth is committed to facts. The water element, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer is the necessary complement to this. There are things you cannot grasp with your head or hands. The only thing to do is to believe in love and what it can trigger and achieve. Personal love, partnership, is your topic now, but you should think and feel far beyond this. When people love, they will not hurt others. If you see human suffering, you can alleviate it with loving attention. Sometimes, thoughts or glances are enough. Mercury retrograde strengthens the power of your thoughts. Perhaps this week, you will realize what dimension this has. It would be brilliant if you were to experience a meditative moment of love at the winter solstice on Friday. Astrological turn of the year. This conscious moment could be like a switch that turns negative things positive. Relationship love. Venus opposes Uranus, which indicates a surprise in your love life. You have probably already had an encounter that touched you deeply. It may also have been a physical touch. You experience the power of love as something great and exciting. That power can transform you and bring out the best in you. You will gladly take this with you into the future. Sagittarius Everyday Life Profession The constellations once again emphasize your place in this world. Perhaps you now have an opportunity to take it with dignity. It should come naturally but looks more like a homecoming after long hesitation or avoidance. You can go back to your roots. How does this sentence feel? Does it sound like an invitation or more like a threat? How positive can you be when it comes to family issues? Mercury returns to the sign of Sagittarius on Saturday after its excursion into Capricorn. You have many things to think about again and should end up picking up a thread that you lost along the way. The moment is well chosen in terms of the time of year because your thoughts now have an impact far into the future. You can filter out something essential from critical issues with a positive core. This core acts as a source of happiness once you have found it. It is something that will give you stability. Relationship love, with the opposition of Venus and Uranus, love can appear quite unexpectedly and drive you crazy. Perhaps this has already happened, and you are already collecting your thoughts. Maybe you would like a little more security and would like to know where you stand. Is someone playing a game with you? It looks like a game of hide and seek. The other person also needs security and only plays until you respond sufficiently to their signals. Capricorn Everyday Life Profession The sun will be in Capricorn. Solstice from Friday, where it meets Mercury when the moon approaches Jupiter in Taurus. The solstice indicates a strong need for security, which will characterize the next astrological year and your new year of life. At the same time, it describes a new beginning in which you will feel your strength and independence you look to the future with a great deal of caution and weigh up your steps very carefully. The opposition of Venus and Uranus describes a process of liberation that will work in your favor. What do you have to lose? You are in the process of becoming more and more yourself and standing on your own two feet. Perhaps you still need to understand how pleasurable this can be to see it in a positive light. On Saturday, Mercury returns to the optimistic sign of Sagittarius. If you have forgotten how to think positively, Mercury and Mars will dig up whatever you have buried and revive it. It's all about your trust in life and fortunate coincidences. Relationship love. Now that Venus is opposite Uranus, you will probably decide to experiment after all. 
Is it an experiment with your partner, or is the energy directed against the relationship? Do you want to become more independent, or do you have a common goal for which you must summon up all your courage? What is your dream for the future? With a vision, you can direct your energy in the right direction. Everyone else still has to find one. Aquarius Everyday Life Profession Mercury Retrograde needs to reflect in peace. A few other planets will help it so that you gradually come to a better understanding of your situation. It is about your roots in this world and a community in which you automatically participate because of your family affiliation. Aquarians feel they are runaways and tend to underestimate their family ties. You may become aware of your attitude and should remove your glasses, which color everything to suit your previous worldview. Mercury in Capricorn is a sober observer of facts. On Saturday, it returns to Sagittarius, the home of wishful thinking. He will look at the world differently due to his retrograde and come to new conclusions, as it is the solstice. Friday, issues are on the table that will affect the coming year. Realism versus wishful thinking is one for you, but your family affiliation is also essential. Relationship love. The connection between Venus and Uranus suggests that someone fascinates you and opens you up to topics you would otherwise have tended to ignore. Your relationship gives you background information and helps you to recognize new connections. A spiritual connection is essential for you anyway, but don't underestimate the erotic component of Venus in Scorpio and the zodiac sign Taurus, where Jupiter and Uranus are, and the Moon on Friday and Saturday. Pisces Everyday Life Profession Harsh reality shows up once again. Perhaps something needs to be said because not everyone has understood it yet. You will carry this theme into next year with the solstice on Friday. Immediately afterward, Mercury moves back into the sign of Sagittarius and, at the weekend, reminds you of the last new moon, which wanted to give you courage and hope. Can you already build on this? On Friday and Saturday, there will be eye-opening situations you probably need for this. Moon Jupiter and Moon Uranus opposite Venus. It will do you good to adopt different perspectives. After all, your fellow human beings all have their points of view. You will put yourself in this and that position and then understand how the viewpoints come about. Perhaps you would like to act as a mediator. Your calm nature makes you very suitable for this. However, there are also restless Pisces natures. Calm comes with age when you feel the ground under your feet. Relationship love. Have you already been able to connect? Or are you still waiting? This week, the connection can occur quite suddenly or break off just as suddenly. You never know with Uranus, but what you do know is that Uranus loves and needs self-determination. If you understand this and don't deny your claim to autonomy, it can be exciting in a good way.